they get wrapped up around pulleys and uh, around conveyor belts and around the screens that help separate materials in recycling facilities. Industry standards say facilities spend tens of thousands of dollars a year. And some facilities have to close down for hours at a time and send staff in to cut those kinds of bags and shrink wrap out of the equipment every day. The less contamination we have in the recycling program, the more efficiently we can manufacture good feedstocks for industry. The bill is really intended to take a product that is unrecyclable and is typically single use and shift it into something that could potentially be recycled or be used again. This allows consumers who have a countertop compost bin in their kitchens to actually line their bins with these bags. So there's a secondary use for them. And there's studies that show that when consumers have access to these compostable bags, they're able to collect their organic waste better, and they're more likely to participate in the collection of organics waste. Another key thing that this bill does is it requires uh, labeling and coloring for those bags to really distinguish them from other plastic bags. And this is a big deal for the composters in our state who can't currently easily distinguish between what's a compostable bag and what isn't a compostable bag that part of this regulation should really help with the quality of compost materials uh, and, and getting bad plastics out of composting. <laughs>